this is the beginning of part two of the video on how to use the portal signup module to allow users to pay for hosting portals on your DNN site. Now, the other thing is that you can remove the uh, user that is getting created in the form. You can remove this user here from, from admin. Maybe you don't want this user to be admin. Maybe the new portal, you don't want that new person to be an admin. So you have the option to do that by checking this. And also you can remove it from admin and assign to a, a new role as well. Again, all options that you that you have here. Now, I should not be required to fill this out if I if this is not what I'm doing. I mean, uh, if I'm not checking those options, I should not be required, but it seems that it wants me to fill this out. So I'm going to just put an admin account here. I'm going to call it admin and the username will be admin and this is the password and I'll repeat the password so I can save this and I'm going to call this admin as well. I'm going to reach the payment in a second. Let's try to update this now and see if we are able to. Perfect. We were able to save the information. And as you can see, let's actually, let's go here. Not logged in. As you can see, the form now is much simpler. I don't have to select templates to put descriptions. I can just I can put the site name, put the title and that's it. This is the message that can show up at the top. And these are the, this is the user that will be created during the new portal uh, creation. Now let's give it a shot here. Let's try to, to create this. Let's create a new portal called accounting title. I'm going to put it accounting as well. I don't care too much about this password. And here is the accounting email just for test. So let's try to create this website and see how it goes. Again, this is the first time that I'm checking this module. So not sh exactly sure how it really behaves, but let's give it a shot here. Create website. Okay. So it's complaining about the template file. Let me have a look here. What I set up there. Let's go back to edit sign up. Oh, it's not specified. Sorry about that. Let's go to default. Let's select default website. And also for the sake of testing, let's, oh, that's fine. That's fine. So let's just keep it at that. Let's click update. I have to type in password again. So, I mean, some things can definitely be slightly improved here, but let's keep trying. And I'm going to go back to the site. I'm going to try this again. I'm just going to put the password again and see if this time we'll be able to go through. Quick create website. Okay, not really. Let's try again. Let's refresh this. Go to the beginning. Let's try it one more time. Hope this time around. Gonna let's see. Create website. Let's see, it's taking its time. Let's see what will happen. Good, it worked now. So it might might have been something in the session. Uh, so now we are in the new child portal. It was created properly. I'm going to try to log in as the user that I have created. Let's see how this goes. Okay, don't ignore this. This was just my local system. Perfect. I'm logged in as admin. I have admin access with the new user. The portal worked. Now, what drove me to try this module was really the ability not only to configure the, the the some of the questions that are asked here, but also if I go back to manage edit sign up, you're going to be able to see that it has integration with PayPal. And I'm quite sure that this really works well. So let's just have a quick peek here. I'm not going to be able to fully test this just because this site is running in my local system. And even if I use a PayPal sandbox, it will not not really work uh, in, in my case here. But but again, let's just explore this a little bit. We can we can enable PayPal processing 
and we can also uh, just for the sake of testing we could enable this PayPal sandbox in case you are just trying this out getting started you may want to check PayPal sandbox and you may want to create a, an account there just type in PayPal sandbox on Google and you're gonna be able to find their website now um, allow pending transactions not sure what this is but current code currency code this is the currency that's gonna be using the site you can specify other currency codes out there like Canadian dollars you can find those currency codes uh, under PayPal as well the item name this is the name this is a term knowledge that will show up in the invoice when you get when the user gets directed to PayPal this is the 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 item name subscription amount let's put it here let's say ten dollars subscription period now this is specifying uh, one month so this number was together with the subscription period type if I say one day it will be active just for one day but by default you're gonna have one month so it's ten dollars per month you can set a trial amount you can set a trial period as well it's all set to zero right now so there's no trial period you can set a trial period type as well and you of course have to set up your PayPal ID now in terms of uh, expiration I'm not gonna put expiration as long as the, the user keeps paying we are fine with that I'm fine with that so just for the sake of test let me put my PayPal user ID here and I'm gonna I'm going to enable I'm gonna click update just want to see asking for password again well we should definitely improve this that's fine for now okay so let's click update now um, I have enabled PayPal let's see what this will what kind of impact we're gonna have here in the main site and let's see how it looks like I'm gonna go to the new portal page I'm gonna fill this out again I'm gonna create try to create a new site here John site again I don't care too much about those right now I just want to fill this out and because now we have PayPal checked let's see how this will behave now create website and let's let's see very very nice so I was redirected to PayPal and again this is this is the real PayPal this is not sandbox this is my my business name it's showing the portal in the description the terms ten dollars for each month perfect so this is actually setting up a subscription plan in PayPal so every month if I if I was supposed to go through with this every month the uh, my account this new account that I'm 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 creating here my PayPal account will be automatically deducted by ten dollars and credit to my to my bank account uh, sorry to my PayPal account my new John accounts let me rephrase this my John account here which is my test account will be charged automatically ten dollars and it would go to my uh, business account too because I'm the site owner so very nice it seems to work nicely again I cannot really full test this because the site is running locally but just to finalize I want to show something else and I want to open the the actual user manual um, there is also three possible scheduled jobs that you can set up on your site that will work together with this module um, just so you know scheduled jobs are uh, processes that run every so often in the NN and that can they can be set up under host uh, schedule so in the user manual it says how you can set up those scheduled jobs and there are basically three at this point you can set up a job and it shows here how you can do that the job cleanup 60 what it will do is any in inactive websites over six days 
will be automatically cleaned. So that's why it's called cleanup 60. There is a cleanup 10 as well. Any inactive websites uh, will also get removed. So you can either, I mean, most likely you should not do both of them. You should choose if you want six days, if you want 10 days. And there's also this expiration notice which is a job that will send you, the site owner, send to you notice saying that there are sites to get expired or actually that uh, are expired already. So again, just three nice scheduled jobs that you can set up in your site that works together with the portal sign up module. Okay. So that's basically it for now. This is uh, an overview of how you can set up, uh, how you can have a module on your .tuk site to allow users to pay for portals uh, via PayPal. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much and bye for now.